Hey, leather stocking angler here. How's everybody doing today? Um, today we're going to talk about Texas rigging a tube and other ways to rig a tube besides Texas rigging and the types of tubes that are available out on the market. I have two different types. I have the uh, Grim Reaper ba Bakes Warlock Craw Tube and the Strike King, famous Strike King coffee tubes. So those are the two tubes that I'm going to talk about today. There's other tubes. There's finesse tubes. There's flipping tubes. All different kinds of tubes. Um, tube fishing has been around for a while. It's really good for uh, smallmouth. I caught my personal best smallmouth on a tube, and that's what got me hooked on them. And I've been and I fish them whenever I get the opportunity, especially if I'm going for smallmouth. Um, this year I am going to take in see if I can't catch some largemouth on them uh, by Texas rig and dragging them, dragging them through the re dragging them through the weeds because uh, a lot of the lakes that I fish here in upstate New York are right full of milfoil and um, also some of the one lake that I fish has a lot of um, lily pads so I'm going to Texas rig the tubes this year and um, see how I can do with those now there's different tube hooks. Of course, if you want to go with the op open tube style, you got this this type of tube he hook here, where the eye eyelid is a little bit forward, so that when it falls, it it does this. Then there are for Texas rigging purposes. This here is an Eagle Claw Trocar tube hook. If you notice the um. The hook is is below the eye so that the fish can grab it and it's hook hook. You can also use a oh, crud. I dropped that one. I have to find it. You can also use a wide gap hook. Now some people say, well, you know, I've I've watched it where pros where a pro use the wide gap hook. What you would do is you would just take your take your tip with this part here where, where the hook is itself and bend it up a little bit so that's a little bit more flush when you skim it. That way, there when the fish grabs it, you can set the hook. All right. So and then um, owner makes a wide mouth uh, tube hook as well. Unfortunately, I don't have one of them, but uh, let's get at it. So this here is now, the thing is, and I, I got another guy that I deal with, um, Tanks Tackle, he makes tubes. And what happens is, is a lot, sometimes this part right here is soft. By the time you put the weight in there, it, it's it's soft. So there's a little bit of a gap. So that's why these his type of hook tubes that he has, um, you can text, you can Texas rig them with the Ego Troll Car hook. So let's... Let's get at it. And the nice thing is, too, is these tubes are nice and soft. So all you want to do is just take and, and go in the head there, up out there, and then come out. And it's a standard it's a standard Texas rig. So you get the eyelet there, and then you do your, you bend it, and you bring it up through. And then you skim it. Just like that, and then when you're all when it's all said and done, there she is. There's your Texas rig, Grim Reaper baits warlock. So go ahead and put that in there because I'm going to be using these here in a few weeks. As soon as the ice goes off, I've been doing some research, and it seems like the fish like the color red right before um, they go into they go into spawn. So during pre 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 spawn, from what I've been seeing. Um, a lot of guys are using red. Um, they're using red crankbaits, spinnerbaits, and the fish really feed on the craws. So there's a little there's a little uh, tip for you. All right, so now let's try and do a coffee tube Texas rig with a wide gap hook. I have a few different weights too. I have these. Weighted hooks here too. These are three eight eight ounce. So if I want to throw it on a bait caster, I can. These are the scent keeper tube head hooks, tube tube jig heads 
three o hook and a three eight ounce weight. Then I have some other coffee tubes as well. So, all right. Now, so the same thing. Just put it through the top there like that. Take it down to the the, the turn and twist it around. This hook might be a little bit small for this. Maybe not. And then you just bend it and bring it through. Oh, see, that's already riding. It's already riding down on the shaft there. So this hook's gonna be a little bit small. Um, do I have a five out? Do not have one readily available. Okay. Um, one moment. Let's go over to the kayak crate and get a hook. Now, at one point, I had my own fish and tackle business, and I was going to use these to package hooks they make it there it's a real nice thing you can keep all your different hooks in there and this one i know i have a four or five odd hook there we go all right let's try that again maybe five out be a little bit too big who knows so again put it in there bring it out bring it down through Get it in the keeper there the way you want it. And this hook might be a little bit long. Yeah, it's a little bit long. Let's go down to a four. The trial and error of, of Texas rigging different lures. <laughs> All right. You know what? We're just going to rip that off there. I got plenty of tubes, believe me. I got more tubes. I got tubes coming on my ears. I got tubes, more tubes than Carter has liver pills, more than likely. Now, these, tu these tubes here, these can be a little bit tough to put a hook in them. Even, even the Trocar Eagle Claw hooks that I have, they can be a little tricky. So I'm going to get a smaller hook here. Believe me, I got plenty of hooks, too. If you need any hooks, get hold of me. I can send some to you. All right, this one looks like it might work. Oh, this one's going to be a little bit big, too. Well, I mean... That's probably 502. So we'll go back to this little guy here and make it work. Oh, make her work. Nice thing about to about Texas rigging a tube too is uh, you don't have to cut the line every time you want to tie a different want to try a different color hook. All right, so there she be. She's not exact not exactly the prettiest girl at the ball at the ball, but you get the point. So. That is how you Texas rig a tube, folks. Um, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh, if you like my video, please smash that like button. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Hit the bell, ring the bell, so that when I put new to new content out, you're aware of it. And other than that, thank you, and you guys are awesome. Have a great day.